Hello YouTube, hello America, hello the world. This is Eric at FlexPVC.com. Uh, I've got some videos for you today. First one I'm going to start with is telescoping couples. Okay, This is a telescoping couple. This is in the collapsed position. This is in the open position. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use this to repair a damaged pipe. These are available in half inch through three inch. Might have four inch. I know we have up to three inch for sure. Okay, so the way you would use this is the first thing you're going to do is you would take let's say you've got a pipe here cracked broken got a screw in it something like that somebody drilled through it and you know that the damage is localized to one specific spot no why no no further than the width of what you're seeing right here okay and when you have a cracked pipe i recommend that you use a saw not a cutter a cordless or hand cutter to, to bladed cutter to cut through it because that puts stress on the pipe and it can make the crack travel. So using a saw is generally the better way to do it, as long as you can hold it firm and don't put additional stress on it. Okay, so let's assume first step, you got a localized damaged pipe, and you can cut that damaged pipe out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna glue on a coupling, okay? I'm just gonna push it on here because it's hard to get off. Make believe this is glued on all the way, okay? Then you're gonna collapse it. All right, once you collapse it, this is your cut length. So you measure this. I've got seven and a quarter inches. You make sure you measure yours, okay? Because that distance depends on how far this goes in here, what brand you're using, and so forth. Because uh, various different manufacturers and different fittings have different socket depths, okay? So you measure your length. That's the part you're going to cut out of your pipe. You've got a little leeway here, okay? Don't go off more than an eighth of an inch, though. Maybe a quarter at the very furthest. You'll see why in a minute. So you cut this section of pipe out, you then prime and glue, prime and glue, okay, prime, prime, glue, glue, put this down in there, shove it on, okay, hold it. Now, I recommend you let it sit for a good five minutes. Uh, you can let it sit there longer if you want, because in a minute you're going to be yanking on this thing, and I don't want you to pull it off the end of the pipe you just glued it on. Depending on the pipe, the condition of the pipe, I've seen that happen, okay. So, uh, let it sit for a little while. Make sure it's really bonded for sure, okay? One way you can tell is you can try and twist it. If it moves at all, you're not bonded and stop. Uh, just don't move it anymore, let it bond up. Give it an hour if that's what the situation is, okay? So now this is in here, and now you're gonna have another piece of pipe. Ugh, let's see what I got here. Yeah, there we go. So you have another piece of pipe like this, and this will be about the gap, about like that, all right? So you're then, and this one's going to be obviously firmly in place, it's in a trench in the ground, through concrete, whatever, mounted to a wall. But this is the way it's going to be. Uh, I recommend we have tools to bevel these. I'll put a link in the description below to take and put a bevel on this because that's very important. It makes it a whole lot easier to get this started if you have a bevel here. Especially, a lot of times these pipes have cracks in them. It's because they're not perfectly straight. There's some stress on them, and that's why they crack. So you might end up doing something like this. I'm exaggerating it, okay? It won't be that bad. But even if it's just a little, it makes it hard, okay? Hard to get in. So put a bevel on this. Primer it. You're gonna be like this. So prime this here, glue this here, prime this here, glue this here. Then when these are two together, this one's not moving anymore, remember? This is not moving. This will pull out. If this was glued on, it was down. So this will pull out, and when you as you're pulling this out here, this is gonna go right over your pipe here. Now it takes a fair bit of strength to do this, okay? This is not, you have to have good grip strength and you have to have pretty good arm strength, okay? Because when you push this guy in, there's a little detent in here that holds this in place. So when you first to pull it out, you gotta pull it kind of hard. That's why this pulled off, okay? But as you, once you get it moving, it's not too bad. But as soon as you start moving, now you're gluing into this. So now you got a little bit of friction trying to push this one on. And if you know, these are interference fits, right? So it starts easy and then it gets tight, okay? So you're, Pushing this this way, pulling this this way, so it takes some strength. Okay, so that's how to fix um, a simple repair, a localized crack, a localized damaged pipe. All right, now let's say you got a real bad crack in the pipe. Let's say it was really bad, bad. somebody hit it with a jackhammer, just shattered a whole big section. Same thing, no difference. You're going to take a new piece of pipe, cut out the whole mess, okay, minus this distance, glue that in, okay, down wherever it goes. Then you got a new pipe, same thing here. You're going to measure 
set this in place, glue this in here. It'll shove this way, okay? Oh, I know what you're thinking, right? Okay, so when I said prime this, glue this, you said, oh, well, but how am I supposed to get in here? Well, what happens is when you glue this one in, this is gonna move about that far, <laughs> okay? The, the depth of this socket, right? Which is about an inch. Just a, yeah, right at an inch, okay? Shade under it. So you're gonna move it this way. Once you do that, then you'll have uh, room. And so you'll see, I'll try and do this without pulling it, but I can't. So I'll pull this out, and then what you're gonna end up is something like this. This guy's gonna be right in here, like that, okay? So make your measurement as tight as you can, all right? Like I said, you got about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter, but not really. Uh, you want it as tight as you can get it. So when you collapse this, you put this on, oh yeah, don't forget, you have to glue this fitting on first, okay? Because if you don't glue this fitting on first, there's a chance glue could run down in here, and then you just ruin this telescoping fitting. Okay. The other thing is when you prime, always hold it down like this. Okay. Take your dauber, go around like this. Always hold it down. The, that way the primer runs this way. Okay. And not back up this way. If you do it like this, prime it. Prime goes right down here, and it'll actually set up right there. Now, something simple like this, you might be able to smack it with a hammer or your hand. You might be able to break it loose. But don't. Why even do that? It doesn't make any sense. Learn to hold your pipes like this. Okay. When you're priming and gluing. Okay. So now. Let's say you want to tap into an existing line, okay? And it's buried, there's no way to move it, you can't get to it. All right, no different, except you're gonna use a T, or a Y, or a cross, or some other branching fitting, okay? Same exact thing. Pull this out, glue this on, collapse it, measure, cut, put this in place, shove it down, prime, glue, prime, glue, shove it back together. Now, this will turn, once this is glued in here, that's fine. This will turn, no, no problem, okay? So when you're, when you're putting it in here, this is really common, especially when you have a fitting like this because you're gonna pull, remember I said you're gonna pull real hard? You're gonna end up pulling on this, I promise you will, okay? And a lot of times that'll move this, okay? This will move, that will Once this sets up, you can't move it. So when you shove this over and you go on this pipe, make sure that this fitting here, the T or I or Y or whatever you're putting here, is in the orientation that you want it to go. Okay? All right, so that's a telescoping coupling. Really useful. Uh, these are potable water rated. There's no NSF on here, but it's just in the book, I think. Uh, then they're for constant pressure. Okay, so you can use them for household uh, usage, uh, household water supply. Although most people use these for irrigation and things like that. Uh, standard temperature pressure, just like normal. I wouldn't go much over household pressure on these. If this does come apart, uh, if you really want to know what is inside, it's really nothing. Um, it's a uh, chamber, and this guy actually comes out, and it's got double O-rings. We yeah, have three, here's one, these two. Uh, and it's a very uh, precision bore on the inside so that those O-rings fit nice and tight. There you go. Uh, you don't really shouldn't take it apart. You just, uh, there's no need to. Uh, matter of fact, some of these, uh, they're glued together, you can't, can't take it apart. This one for this particular one, you can't take it apart. Okay, so if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel, like the channel, or like the video at least. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment. I do definitely read comments and I answer comments. Uh, if you have a comment as a general comment, go ahead and leave it or a question, put it below. Or if you have something specific to your needs, email us. You can email us at sales at flexpvc.com or you can call me at 888. 782-3539, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time, okay? I know you East Coasters, you get upset about that, but that's our phone hours. Send an email, I answer emails six days a week, every day except Saturday, uh, and I check email pretty consistently, I mean a lot. Uh, so if you email me at night, I usually will have an answer for you in the morning, okay? And if I don't, I'm sorry, at certain times of the year it's really busy. Okay, so this has been Eric at FlexPVC.com. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. I know I talk fast. I talk fast because I don't like spending a real long time watching videos. Okay? And so I don't want my videos to be too long. Okay, if you have any questions, you know how to get home. Thanks very much for watching.